Hi everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Back today with another tech tip. So if you're like me, you may have purchased one of these Zoom H1 recorders over the years. They were really good value. I used to be able to pick them up for about $100 and they can record audio in very high quality and also have a plug-in to plug in a microphone. So, and they can also work as an audio interface, which means that you can hook it to your computer, your PC or your Mac, and you can use it as a USB microphone. So it has such good quality that I've been using this as my main microphone for being on MS Teams calls, being on Zoom calls, and also to record my voice into programs like Audacity. And uh, recently, when I upgraded my systems to Windows 11, on one of my machines, I had trouble connecting the audio interface part of the Zoom to my computer. What would happen is that the audio would either be very distorted or it would not come through at all. And I was really wondering how to fix the problem. And I tried to do Windows Update, I tried to remove some old drivers and no luck. But then I tried something today, which actually really worked. So what I did was I went to the zoomcorp.com support page for the Zoom H1, which I'll provide the link below. And on this page, if it's still there when you're watching this video, it will provide two different things which you need to do. First of all is the H1 firmware. And so your firmware needs to be running firmware version 2.1, 2.10 on the Zoom H1, which is the latest firmware released in May of 2020. So my devices were already running uh, version 2.1 firmware. I must have upgraded it some time ago. But again, I wanted to make sure my firmware was correct. So I downloaded that firmware, put the bin file on the SD card. And if you hold down the play button when you turn it on, it gives you the option to upgrade the firmware by pushing the record button twice. But make sure you have a fresh battery installed because if you try to upgrade the firmware with a low battery, you could actually break your device. So that's the first thing I did. The second thing I did on that same H1 support page on Zoom Corp, there is the second link, which is the H series ASIO driver. So I thought, well, I'm not using a DAW. I'm not using Cubase or any other DAW software. So I thought I don't need this ASIO driver. But the trick is this download of the ASIO driver also includes WDM drivers and KS drivers for your Zoom device if you're using Windows. So I recommend that you download the H series ASIO driver, especially if you're using Windows 11 or Windows 10 and install the software, install the driver by clicking the, the setup exe. And then after it's installed, restart your computer. And this, this was the trick for me. As soon as I installed this ASIO driver called H series ASIO driver, I was able to reconnect my Zoom H1 with Windows 11 using a USB cable and put it into audio interface mode. And I was getting perfect audio out of the device, including the stereo channels. Like when I used inboard, inboard mics, I was getting left and right properly. And then when I plugged in a mono microphone here, I was getting only left channel and I was able to use my audio software. I'm using uh, voice meter banana to actually get the correct audio for my zoom calls. Isn't it funny that this is called a Zoom device and I also use it for Zoom calls? Anyways, I was able to get this working properly, so I'm super happy. And if you have any questions about getting this old Zoom H1 recorder working with Windows 11, please let me know in the comments below. I know this device is no longer manufactured, it's actually discontinued. So while I was having so much trouble, I thought, well, maybe I better upgrade to a Zoom H1. So this Friday, I have a Zoom H1N coming the latest model coming soon, which I think that one has also been discontinued. But <laughs> anyways, there are good devices. They are excellent recorders. If you're a musician and want to record your band, learn some basic recording techniques and you can use this microphone. It's very amazing. It's really good quality. And it's such a small little thing. It only takes one AA battery. Okay, good luck. And please let me know if you have any comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.